kidding, Mr. Hitler, if you think we're on the run. We are the boys who will stop your little game. We are the boys who will make you think again. Cause who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Hitler, if you think old England's done? Mr. Brown goes off to town on the A21 But he comes home each evening and he's ready with his gun So who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Hitler? Lady sweet and kind Was never face so pleased my mind I did but see her passing by Yet will I love her till I die Her gestures, motions and... I think that'll be enough of that fight, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, Mr Manring. We'll learn as you grow older that the bank manager's office is no place for singing. Sorry, Mr Manring. Morning, Frank. Good morning, sir. Oh, good morning, Wilson. It's uh, good news about the Home Guard dance, isn't it, sir? Oh, well, all work and no play, you know, Pike. <laughs> Besides, it gives our wives and sweethearts a feeling that they're part of the, part of the grand effort. Makes them feel that, that we're all pulling in the same direction. Is, um, does that mean we can bring a friend, sir? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Who did you have in mind? One of your old Boy Scout friends? No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to bring a girl. A girl? <laughs> oh, well, I, I suppose that's what dancers are for, really, yes. Really. Discuss it with Corporal Jones. He's in charge of the invitations. Yes, sir. I'll bring you coffee in in a minute, sir. Thank you. There is a lady... Pike, Pike. Sorry, sir. Forgot. <laughs> I'm not at all satisfied with that boy's work recently, you know. Never seems to stop humming. Well, I, I think he's just letting his thoughts uh, dwell on his private life, sir. Oh, don't be absurd, Wilson. He hasn't got a private life. Mere boy. Well, he's going on 19, and he's walking out with an at. With a what? An ATS girl. Good heavens. You should put a stop to that at once. We never know where these girls come from. <laughs> she's a local girl, actually, and she's on leave, and her name is uh, Violet Gibbons. I know that girl. Oh, yeah? Her mother used to clean for us twice a week. Obliging, as she used to call it. Yes, well... <laughs> <laughs> now her daughter's obliging Frank. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hadn't that girl used to work in a fish and chip shop? Yes, that's right. That's the answer, yes. Oh, no. Wrong sort of background altogether. The bank doesn't like that sort of thing, you know. Well, what sort of thing? You know perfectly well what sort of thing. The wrong girl could ruin that boy's entire career in the bank. What does his mother say? Well, she doesn't know. Well, you'd better have a word with him. Well, why me? Well, the boy hasn't got a father. You've been friendly with his mother for years. I should think you're the next best thing. <laughs> Just because I happen to know Mrs Pike quite well doesn't mean that I've got to act as a Dutch uncle to Frank. You worry me sometimes, you know, Wilson. You'd do anything rather than face up to your responsibilities. You've never really grown up, have you? You're not a middle-aged chief clerk at all. You're a sort of Peter Pan. <laughs> I don't know how you expect ever to get your own branch. Well, be that as it may, Frank Pike is not my responsibility. Well, I'm sure a lot of people will be very pleased to hear that. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, what do you mean by that? <laughs> well, it's no business of mine. But this is a very small town, Wilson. Tongues wag. People put two and two together, you know. You and Mrs Pike arrived here about the same time. Both from Western Supermare. <laughs> You look at that boy in certain lights, you know, there's a, there is a resemblance, same hairline. He has certain characteristics, like pulling the lobe of his ear. The whole idea is outrageous. I mean, to say, Mavis would have mentioned it. No. Oh, uh... <laughs> I'm sure it's, it's just idle gossip, but uh, I think a word from you would come best. All right, so then I'll, I'll have a chat to him. Sure. By the way, don't make any appointments for me after three o'clock this afternoon. I have a meeting in the church hall with the dance committee. All right, all right. Now, as this dance is in the nature of a recreation, I thought it better if we were to meet in this friendly and relaxed way rather than a more formal atmosphere. Yeah, pay attention, Walker. <laughs> Don't lean on the desk. Now, 
I thought it best, and please correct me if you think I'm wrong, uh, that we should each be responsible for one aspect of Operation Dance. Mr. Manry, yeah. Yeah. I'd just like to say, on behalf of the men present, it's a very nice idea. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jones. <laughs> now, what I ask myself are the essential ingredients. What do we need for a successful dance? A floor. <laughs> I'm not actually asking for suggestions at this stage, Walker. <laughs> As I see it, there are three things. Music to dance to, food for the inner man, and drink for conviviality. There's another thing we need, sir. What is that? Women. <laughs> I think we can take that for granted. Hey, uh, what about the booze, though, sir? I mean, that's very difficult, you know what I mean? Uh, it's almost impossible. Oh, I but you can get it for us, can't you, Joe? Oh, yeah, well, I mean, I've got contacts. Yes, well, in this case, I don't think we need to trouble you, uh, uh, Walker. The secretary of the golf club has agreed to stand by us in the matter of drink. Sucks to you, Joe. Yeah. Where do you think the golf club get it from? In all right. <laughs> <laughs> now it comes to the question of food. If it's any help, I'm rather good at making maids of honour. <laughs> Blimey, that's a relief all round. <laughs> Actually, do they're, they're little buns with some icing on the top of them. Yes, I'm sure they'd be most welcome, Godfrey. Can you help us in this matter, Jones? Yes, sir. I have earmarked six pounds of sausages. More than that, I cannot do. Oh. <laughs> oh well, we're very grateful for those. No, I tell a lie. I've also earmarked some fat for frying. Then we can put them in the fat and fry them. <laughs> tell you what, sir. We can cut them up into quarters and put them into sausage rolls. Yes, yes, that's a very stimulating suggestion. For my part, uh, I think I can say that Mrs Mannering would manage to throw a case around them. She's very ingenious in that sort of way. Now, this brings us to the band. Now, in these troubled times, this is, this is a very difficult question. Miss Rowlands and her colleagues have offered their services. You may remember they used to play in the afternoons at the Marigold Tea Rooms. I don't think we ought to have too much of that jazz music. Blimey, there's not much chance of that with Miss Rowlands. Talk about Nat Ganella. <laughs> <laughs> what we need is some good tunes. Uh, tell me Pretty Maiden is a very nice tune. Yeah, and any old iron. You can't dance to any old iron. Well, Harry Champion does. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, sir, I mean, it's none of my business, but if you get that Miss Rollins <coughs> and that friend of hers with the buns on her ear holes and that cello between her legs <laughs> and that old bat from the library playing on the harp, we might as well go home. <laughs> don't often agree with you, Joe, but this time, by God, you're right. Of course I'm right. Yes, well, I, I think there's some force in what you say, Walker. Question is, where are we to find any musicians? What about the Salvation Army? Oh, oh that's a mar marvellous idea, the Salvation Army. Ladies and gentlemen, take your partners for what a friend we have in Jesus. <laughs> Walker, may I remind you that we are on church property? <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, but honestly, the Salvation Army... Here, listen, I'll tell you what. One of the lads in the t platoon, he can play the piano. Now, there's an RAF holding station down at Godalston. Now, I'll pop down there and see what they got. Oh, good. Splendid. Well done. Well, Operation Dance is well and truly launched, and I think we can say that we can bring her to harbour safely and successfully. Barring torpedoes. Barring. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think those pictures ought to be back to back like that. I mean, it's, it looks as if they've had an argument. <laughs> I mean, you've got to take them down. Oh, I think you better. I mean, it looks ridiculous like that. I mean, I've got the rosettes here, Wilson. Oh, oh, good. Well done, sir. Good. That's the secretary for you, MC for Jones, oh. and the chairman for me. Oh, great. That's very good, sir. Who wears the wine one? I'm giving you that to Walker. Oh, I see. I thought the secretary of the golf club was taking care of all that. <laughs> yes, well, when it came to the point, he couldn't get the extra drink. Oh, but I, see. I think that can be all right, sir. Yes, I think so. Put those in the office, would you? Yes, sir. Yeah, just a minute. Have you had a word with that boy yet? <laughs> no, no, no. Not, not yet, sir. No, no. Why not? Well, the opportunity hasn't presented itself, sir. Just presented itself now. He's in my office. Well, you can't just nosedive into a personal matter like this, you know. You need the, the right sort of atmosphere. I mean, a log fire, a cosy chair, a pipe, a glass of port. Peter Pan. <laughs> My God, Mannering, you can hit pretty low when it suits you. <laughs> oh, Mr. Mannering, sir, I wouldn't speak to you. No, I was lying in bed last night and I suddenly had an idea. Really? Yes. I thought, what about a cabaret? You see, I do some very good humorous monologues and various forms of mimicry. And <laughs> Fraser, he does a marvellous Highland sword dance. <coughs> yes. Well, I'll... Uh... I'll mention it to the committee. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Jock, I spoke to Mr. Mannering about your sword dance. 
I've got right off the idea. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think I'll go and see what Mr. Mandarin wants me to do. No, 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 Frank, Frank, no. Don't, don't go yet. <laughs> My goodness me. <laughs> We've, uh, never had a chance, have we, really, to be alone together and have a, you know, cosy little chat. Haven't we, Uncle? Ah. Yes, well, uh, <laughs> looking forward to the dance, are you? Oh. Yes, thank you, Uncle. Yes, but you don't have to keep on calling me Uncle, you know. Sorry, Sergeant. Or oh, that either. I mean, uh, <laughs> both grown up, men of the world. I'm Frank. No, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> you're Frank. <laughs> I'm Arthur. How'd you do? <laughs> anyway, you're quite grown up now, you know, uh, Frank, aren't you? I mean, we can uh, both look each other in the eye, can't we? <laughs> Talk, man to man. <clears throat> nice, isn't it? Yeah, well, there are heaps of things we can talk about, you know, things that we've uh, never talked about before. It's very nice, isn't it? Yeah, uh, would you keep s stop saying it's nice, Frank? It's, it's terribly irritating. I'm, you know? I'm sorry, Uncle. I'm hmm? Sarge. Yeah. Arthur. Yes, all right, all right, Frank. All right, all right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Frank. I, I, I didn't mean to upset you. Well, that's all right. <clears throat> Arthur. <laughs> it's very nice being able to talk man to man, isn't it? Yes, it's nice. Uh, good, I mean, good. Nice. Well, what should we talk about then? What? Well, um, hmm. Well, we... <laughs> we've, um, have we? We've never, never really had a chance to have a little chat about uh, girls, have we? Oh, that. Oh, I know all about the birds and bees and things. No, I, I didn't, didn't mean that. <laughs> Miss Beckworth told us. Oh, good. She knows quite a bit about girls. Yes, I'm sure she does, yes. She knows a good deal about boys yeah, as well. <laughs> <laughs> what I would like to know is who are you going to take to the dance with you? Well, I... I thought I'd take my girlfriend, Violet Gibbons. Precisely, yes. Violet Gibbons, yes. That's, uh, <clears throat> That's exactly what I wanted to talk to you about. Why? You don't want to take her, do you? Well, certainly not. <laughs> I don't know her, do I? I didn't think you did. She's wonderful. She's the most beautiful girl in the whole wide world. I love her, Uncle Arthur. When I woke up this morning, I, I wanted to run to the top of the church tower and shout it to the winds, I love Violet Gibbons, I wanted to shout, but... I didn't. <laughs> I think you're very wise. <laughs> Uh, so many mistakes can be made. I mean, so much just to be thought about. Is she, uh, is she suitable, for instance? Suitable for what? Oh, for the bank. <laughs> <laughs> well, why she wasn't going to the bank? I mean, she's in the ATS. No, 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 my dear boy, no, no, no. I didn't mean that. I mean, after the war, when all this is over, you see, when you come back. Well, she won't want to go into the bank then. She'll be married to me. But... Married? Can you keep a secret? Yes, yes, I suppose so, yes, yes. We're going to surprise everyone at the dance tonight. I'm going to announce our engagement in the middle of it, just like Jack Oakey did with Zazu Pitts. No, 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 Frank. <laughs> I wouldn't do that if I were you. I mean, you've got to think of your mother. It would give her a terrible shock. Oh, no, no. When Jack Oakey did it with Zazu Pitts, she thought it was the best bit of the whole film. Now, Frank, I... <clears throat> I think it's just possible that this may be different. Well, it's obvious to me you've made an absolute mess of it. Well, in that case, why don't you talk to him, sir? Oh, no, 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 no. That wouldn't be a good idea at all. You must get somebody nearer to his own age group. Try Walker. No, I don't think it'd do any good me having a word with him. I mean, uh, you know, when he wants to, he can be very pig-headed. Here, what about his mum? Has she, uh, she washed her hands of the old thing? No, 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 Joe, I didn't mean that, you see. You see, Mavis, Mavis doesn't even know the girl exists. I mean, if he blurts all this out of the dance, I mean, she'll make the most awful scene. Yeah. Here, what about if I have a word with Violet? Yes, that's not a bad idea. But Violet? You know Violet? Well, you know, it is. Uh, well, you know, I was a bit, uh, <laughs> bit keen on her once when she worked in Woolworths, you know. Oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> and when she went to work in a fish shop, I don't know, somehow it was sort of different. <laughs> I mean, it was all right watching football out in the open, you know, but when she got hot in the pictures. <laughs> I mean, you know, people used to shift their seats. <laughs> and the man finds that humiliating, doesn't he? Yeah, I suppose so, yeah. 
Perhaps you could have a word with her, Joe. Perhaps she could persuade him not to be too hasty. Yeah. She tried to persuade me that way once. Mind you, I never was a good listener. <laughs> oh, Johnny, how you can love. You, you oh, settle Johnny. down there and, and point your music out in that direction, you see? Ah, uh, Corporal right. Jones. Yes, sir, I'm just finishing my preparations for the dancer. Where's Mr. Manley? Oh, Mr. Manley will be very quickly. He's bringing the sausage rolls, you see, and he wants to arrive here with his with his good lady and in time to greet all the guests personally whom I shall announce. You know, it's a funny thing, I've never met Mrs. Mannering. Oh, they're a very devoted couple, you know. Only she don't get about much, you see. Oh, oh Josie, you know. that microphone's all right now. All you've got to do is switch it on. Yeah, right. right evening, Vicar. Yeah, that piano's on the blink, isn't it? You've got a note missing. Oh, dear, is it an important one? Well, it is if you play in the mood. He goes, <laughs> da dee thump dee da thump da dee thump dee da thump Oh, I think that's rather catchy. <laughs> Didn't know you was a sporting vicar, did you? <laughs> Here, listen, Jonesy, don't let Pikey get anywhere near that microphone. Don't tell me he's going to announce his engagement. Well, you know what it is. We've all tried to talk to him, but... Here, listen, I've got to nip off now. I've got to meet my birds. They're down in the uh, horse and groom. Hey, listen, where's Mr Mannering? He's supposed to be bringing the sausages. Oh, look, he's just come in. He's over there taking his coat off. Right, right. Excuse me, Mr Mannering. Please, can I have the sausages as I wish to display them? I've heard it's been a bit of a mishap, Jones. My wife made a miscalculation and uh, most of them are burnt to a cinder. <laughs> I'm very distressed to hear that, Mr. Manorin. Yes, I'll, I'm very sorry, Jones. Well, well, don't upset yourself, sir. Any sausage rolls, just don't upset yourself. Well, I was very vexed, naturally. I gave her a very good dressing down. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's a very nasty eye you got there, Mr. Manorin. Yes, I uh, bumped into the door of the linen cupboard. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> well, if you and your good ladies stand over there, I'll announce the guests. Yes, well, uh, Mrs. Mannering won't be joining us this evening. Oh, I, I hope she's not poorly or anything of that fashion. I'd rather not go into it, if you don't mind, Jones. No, sir. Right, right, sir. I'll just greet the guests alone. Right, sir, yes, well, you you just stand here, sir, like that, and in your greeting the guest position, you know, sir, like that. Oh, no, no, no. And keep nice and calm, sir. <clears throat> All right, sir. Right, right. Do you think we should have some music? Yes, yes, of course. Uh, have you got any nice, quiet greeting the guest music? How about trees? Trees. Would trees suit you, sir? Oh, yes, admirably, thank you. Oh, yes, yeah, that'll drink. be all right, trees, sir. Now, you keep calm, sir. You keep calm, sir. Right, sir. Right, now, ready with the drinks? Right. Hats and coats, all right? You've got your tickets? They'll be here in a minute, you see? It's all right. Right, here we go, then. Blimey, you got here early enough. Eight o'clock, it says on the ticket. Ticket? I never gave you no ticket. The vicar gave it to me. Will you just take it easy on the meat paste sandwiches before our lads arrive? <laughs> I don't want your meat paste sandwiches. Don't take any notice of him. You always was a troublemaker. I'm not a troublemaker. He's a troublemaker. Ooh. We never did find out who wrote that rude word on the harmonium. <laughs> <laughs> Are you insinuating that I had something to do with it? I'm not insinuating anything, but why are you blushing? That's what we'd like to know. I'm waiting, Joe. Yes, certainly, sir. sir. Mr. and Mrs. Henry Yateman. Go on, shake hands with the captain. What, with me hat on? I knew you was a troublemaker. Go and put your hat on over there. Go on, put it on that table. Hello, oh, Josie, you having trouble? I tell you one thing, his joint will be all gristle next week. It was all gristle last week. That's all you ever sell. Come away, Anthea. Right, ladies, now, what's your pleasure? Or well, failing that, what you gonna have to drink? Uh, here, right. wait a minute, wait a minute. I've got to announce you first. Oh, well, this is uh, Doris and this is Dora. They're twins. Blimey, I thought I was seeing double. Here, yeah, which is which? I don't know. One kicks and the other one bites, so what's the odds? <laughs> <laughs> well, then that says Mr Walker and party. Yeah, no, no, don't do that. The party comes later. Right. Mr Walker and parties. Are you know what's mattering? Blimey, where'd you get that from? From the linen cupboard door, Walker. What's the matter? Hasn't your old woman got a rolling pin? <laughs> <laughs> Mr and Mrs Dowding. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Eccles. Hello, Mr. Godfrey. <laughs> My <laughs> word. You do look smart. Dear me, uh, uh, some of the gentlemen aren't even wearing dinner jackets. Oh, oh. you done us proud this evening, Mr. Godfrey. Our dear father used to say that one was never embarrassed by being too well dressed. Uh, I'm not quite sure he was right. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Focus. Me and your Hello, Mr. Fraser. 
Oh, this is uh, my, my wee niece. Her name's Bloodwin. Hello, Miss Bloodwin. How are you? Nice to see you. I think it's only fair to warn you, Jonesy. If you say one word about my kilt, I'll bash your face in. <laughs> you look very nice. Thanks. Mr. Fraser and Miss Bloodwin. Yeah. Good evening. My Fraser. Fraser. How do you do, Miss Bloodwin? Nice to have you with us. I'm sorry. I see I... your niece is a land girl. I'm sorry I didn't have time to put on a dress. Oh, don't worry about that, my dear. Your partner amply made up for it. <laughs> I don't know how you got that black eye, Captain, but I can't find how you're going to get another. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Godfrey and Miss Godfrey. Take my arms. Oh, it's just like old times, Charles. Hello, Mr. Jones. Have you seen my Frank anywhere? Not yet, Mrs. Pike. Oh, Arthur, what on earth can have happened to no, him? Baby, don't worry. You worry much too much, you know. Ridiculous. Mr. Wilson and Mrs. Pike. You know my sister, don't you, Captain? Yes, Henry? of course. How nice to see you again, Miss Godfrey. By Jove, that, that's a nasty eye. Yes, I rather stupidly ran into the door of the linen cupboard. A little bit of folded Christmas card is awfully good for that. What, for a black eye? Oh, no, 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 no. For keeping the linen cupboard door shut. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what you really need is a hot onion. Oh, no, Charles, dear. That's for earache. Oh, no, no, mustard plasters for earache. No, 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 no. No, that's for backache. It's just it's a little confusing, isn't it? It is rather, yes. <laughs> Go and have a drink, coffee. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> exactly. Oh, Excuse me, Mr. Manwin. Uh, isn't it time we had a dance? Yes, yes, indeed it is. I'll tell Jones to start. Jones, start the dancing. Start the dance. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Sir, my consort's just arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jones and Mrs. Prosser. Good evening, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, Mrs. Prosser, how do you do? I, I think just, we've met Hebrus. Excuse me, my dear, I just got to get along. Mr. Manringer looked after you. <laughs> Give us a tara. Right. One, two, three, one. Eddie, on. Oh, jo what? Jonesy, 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 what? don't do that. What? It's not a barometer, it's a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Take your partners for a quick step. Hello, now the fun starts. Here comes Pikey. Oh. Mr. Mannering, oh. I'd like to introduce my fiance, Violet Gibbons. Oh. How do you know, Mr. Gibbons? I knew your mother. Arthur and Frank, just come in with Frank. Oh, don't worry about them, Mavis. We've got the wine, the music, and each other. Arthur, I'm having none of that. You wait till you're asked. Come on, then. <laughs> well done, Mr. Wilson. Well, I can't keep it up all night walking, you know. Uh, no, no, you can't do that, Pikey. Uh, the amplifier's packed up. Oh, no. Right. Why don't you build up? Don't you feel nice like that? Now, you turn up nice and loud, Mr. Walker. No, 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 Pikey, Pikey, no, you, know, you, you, you can't do that. Why not? Uh, well, because uh, Jones is going to make an announcement. What's he going to announce? The band's just taking a break. Uh, yeah, he's going to announce his cabaret. No, I'm not, Mr. Mennon says I shouldn't. Yeah, no, no, yes, you are. He's changed his mind. Well, I'm uh, not, I'm no, not, no, hang on, hang on. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. Now, cabaret time comes to Warmington on sea, and with his famous impersonations of stars of stage, screen, and radio, the one and only, your friend and mine, Jolly Jack Jones! <laughs> Corporal Jones is on the air, oh, can't you hear the chimes? They're telling you to take an easy chair. When sitting in the dance hall, shout out your radio times. Corporal Jones at eight is on the air. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to give you a few difficult impersonations of well-known wireless personalities. And who's the first one we see come along here but our old friend, that good chap, good-hearted Arthur Askey. <laughs> Hello, playmates. Ha <laughs> I thank you. I thank you. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, who else do we see coming?
coming round the road, but a well-known chap we all like very much, Jolly Jack Warner, with his bicycle and his little girl. <laughs> oh, little girl, little girl. Not yet, not yet. <laughs> mind, mind my bike, mind my bike. Up and down at the railway lane now. <laughs> Finale, I'd like to give you that well-known Hollywood man, George Arliss, in that well-known Hollywood film, The House of Lost Child. Thank you. <laughs> well, Councillor Grants, have you decided to accept my offer? <laughs> the offer? of the House of Rothschild. You refuse. Very well, Count de Grants. I will take my departure. But before I go, one word of warning. Remember that those who dig graves for others usually finish by sleeping in those graves themselves. Good night, Count de Grants, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Go and do Charles Law. Oh, oh, don't yes. do Charles Law. Oh, no, do uh, Freddie oh, Barthol. Yes. Shirley yes. Temple. Yeah, oh, bloody it's too late. I'd like to make a very important announcement since you're all gathered here tonight and we're all having such a good time. I'd like to introduce you. Joy supreme that came to us in the gloom. You know it isn't a dream. <laughs> it's love. <laughs> Hello, Wilson. I didn't realize you were... you're still here. Oh, Lord, what happened? Did you get, uh, did you get locked out too, sir? Oh, no, 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 not at all. I... Elizabeth's very absent-minded, you know. I... I think she probably put the catch on not realizing that I was in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi. Hello, Uncle. Mr. Manry. Now, Frank, couldn't you, couldn't you get in either? No. Um, Mum threw a bucket of water over me. That's what she does to the kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it's supposed to cool their ardour, you see. Yeah, well, Very good. <laughs> certainly does that, Uncle. Mm. <laughs> Don't think I'll get married after all. Well, I think you're very wise, Frank. I never did. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it, it, it was a super dance, though, Mr. Mannering. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, very good. Yeah. It was a pity Fraser had to hit the verger over the head with that altar candle. <laughs> <laughs> I think it all started when Jonesy tried to stuff that maid of honor down Mrs. Verger's dress, shouting, <laughs> Coles for Newcastle. <laughs> 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 Walker's no business to take those two girls down into the crypt, you know. <laughs> the vicar will be very distressed about that. <laughs> sort of thing leaves a very nasty taste in the mouth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was, a, it was a good dance, though, wasn't it? Oh, I think we should have these... these, these get-togethers on occasion, occasionally. <laughs> Helps our wives and sweethearts to think that we're all pulling, pulling... In opposite directions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>